Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing presentation and interpretation of data in a line graph with problem solving. Together, let's make learning mathematics fun and easy. Data gathered and organized can be presented in tabular form. For a clearer representation, it can be presented in a graph. One of these is the line graph. The line graph has a vertical line called y-axis, which contains the first variable in the collected data. As we go up through the y-axis, increasing values must be presented. It may represent almost any type of numerical data, such as pesos, scores, number of people, temperature, grades, etc. On the other hand, the horizontal line called x-axis in the line graph contains the second variable that relates to the first variable in the collected data. As we go to the right in the x-axis, time periods or names of things being compared are enumerated. Let us try to solve the following example. Karine recorded her daily expenses in school for a week. She spent 25 pesos on Monday, 30 pesos on Tuesday, 10 pesos on Wednesday, 6 pesos on 60 pesos on Thursday, and 35 pesos on Friday. Let us organize the data in a tabular form and present them in a line graph. Fill up the table with the correct data. Karin's daily expenses. On Monday, her expenses is 25 pesos. Tuesday, her expenses is 30 pesos. On Wednesday, her expenses is 10 pesos. While on Thursday, her expenses is 60 pesos. And on Friday, her expenses is 35 pesos. Let us connect the points using the line. A line graph is a visual comparison of how two variables shown on the x-axis and y-axis are related or varies with each other. It is useful in displaying data or information that changes continuously over time. The points on a line graph are connected by a line. Five parts of the line graph must be present for the graph to be completed. First, title. Second, scale. Third, labels. Fourth, points. And fifth, line. Let's do this. Use the graph at the right to answer the questions below. What is the title of the graph? The title of the graph is Comparison of Plant Growth. What does the scale in y-axis represents? 
the y-axis represents the measurement of the plant in height or a centimeter. What is the height of plant A and plant B at day 2? The plant A measures 5 cm while plant B measures 2.2 cm in day 2. Which plant shows great increase in height? Why? The plant A has the great increase in height because a plant needs sunlight in order to grow. What happened to the plant near the window? The plant B, which is near the window, shows the least increase in height. Let's do this! Grade 5 Aries of Gatid Elementary School held their class elections last Monday. For the position of secretary, Scarlett, Jelani, and Karin were nominated. In their class of 30 pupils, they gained the number of votes. Scarlett 9, Jelani 5, Karin 14. Organize the data in the table and answer the questions that follow. Number of votes for secretary in grade 5 Aries. Our nominees Scarlett with number of votes 9. Jelani with number of votes 5. And Kareen with number of votes 14. How many grade 5 pupils voted for the election of secretary in grade 5 Aris? 9 plus 5 plus 14 equals 28. Total of 28 pupils voted for the election of secretary. What is the total number of votes gained by Jelani and Karin? 5 plus 14 equals 19. Total of 19 votes gained by Jelani and Karin. What is the difference in the number of Karin's and Scarlett's votes? 14 minus 9 equals 5. The difference of vote between Karin and Scarlett is 5 votes. If there is a total of 30 pupils in grade 5 Aries, how many pupils did not vote? There are only 28 votes casted in the election. Therefore, 2 pupils did not vote. If all the students were present, present last Monday, who do you think will win the election for secretary? Karin will still win the election for secretary.
represent the votes of the nominees using line graph. Let's do this. Study the table, then answer the questions that follows. What is ask? The difference in height of seedlings at day 5 as compared to day 2. What facts are needed to solve the problem? The data of height of seedlings in D5 and D2. What operation will you use? In order to get the answer, we will use subtraction. What is the number sentence? 3 minus 2 equals N. What is the complete answer? 3 minus 2 equals 1. The difference in height of seedlings of at date 5 and day 2 is 1 cm. In what day is the growth of the seedlings in terms of height highest and lowest? In day 5, the growth of the seedling is in the highest while in day 1 is the lowest. Let's do this. Using this inventory data help Mildred organize them in a tabular form. Mildred's daily sales of ice candy. Day. Monday. The amount of sales. 300 pesos. Tuesday. The amount of sales. 250 pesos. Wednesday, the amount of sales, 150 pesos. Thursday, the amount of sales, 250 pesos. Friday, 500 pesos. Use the data in the table to construct a line graph. What day Mildred has the lowest sale? On Wednesday, Mildred's sale has the lowest with only 150 pesos. What days she has same amount of sales? Tuesday and Thursday has the same sales with 250 pesos.
What is Mildred's total sales from Monday to Friday? 300 plus 250 plus 150 plus 250 plus 500 equals 1,450 is the total sales of Mildred from Monday to Friday. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.